here shortly. I'm going to go over some themes that are going to be possible rebuilds. And then I already have one in progress, per se, that I will possibly do. Raise our potential rebuild team. I'm not really sure. 50 50 on them. Probably not. Uh, twins, I would not rebuild them. I think they're heading a good. Good. Uh, I think they're going good right now. Elena Braves are obviously already in rebuild mode. I think they already got good enough pieces for the future, so don't really want to start a franchise with them. Phillies are in rebuild mode, but it would be interesting to try to control their future because they have little to no good prospects. Reds are in the same case, but they have some better prospects. But you could make an argument Phillies have better. I think the Reds have better than them, and the Brewers just went the absolute sell mode this past offseason, so trading Jonathan Luke Roy away and Ryan Brown would be among my first moves for them. Uh, Pirates, I think they're still in contention. Rockies, I would be fine with rebuilding. I absolutely hate their part, but I would be fine with rebuilding them. Uh... It's about it here to show. I'm just gonna go to the blue screen here in a sec. Alright, here's the team that I currently have in rebuild mode. Doing absolute horrible to start the season. 15 and 24 at the bottom of the division. And it's not looking really pretty in the future either. Uh, let's see. I traded away Martin McDonald. McDonaldo. However you want to say his name. Trade him away for third base prospect to try to get some youth at the third base position. Currently, the rotation is looking sluggish, especially the top two guys. Lance McCoolers Jr. is really struggling. Taylor Jungman is struggling. Willie Peralta is doing good. Alec Mills is doing pretty good for Rook. Scott Fieldman is doing really good for Aged Vet. The whole entire bullpen, except for Will Smith as of right now, is replaceable. Uh, Jake Marisnik is potentially going to stay... As for the rest of this lineup, only other safe bets to keep are Kim Whitmore, Scooter Jeanette. This is an international free agent in real life, but I just signed him. So, Rob Brantley is doing pretty good, so he might continue to be the starter for now. Uh, I want Brett Phillips to get some more reps in the outfield, but currently, only guy I would replace is Kirk. But he's hitting pretty well right now, so I don't want to do that. Uh, for some reason, whenever I transfer the roster over, though, it did make all the pitchers want to be aces, which, obviously, you can only have one ace on your team, because that's your number one pitcher. So it makes no sense, but it's whatever with that. Should be able to reset once they sign new contracts, but... As far as our farm system goes, it's okay. Definitely could use some work. Zach Davies has been tearing it up, apparently. Some other good players like Alex Presley is in pretty good. I considered calling him up, but then again, you gotta look at their age too. Am I going to see them really being a big part of the future? Probably not. Uh, Queen is in pretty good. I had not the size clue why he was released, so I just picked him up. It's my team, so whatever they're gonna come 
and go as they please. Nathan Kirby's probably going to get a triple-A call-up mid-season. And then this guy needs to get some reps in at double-A, because I hate not seeing the stats in single-A. But, it's whatever, you know? Now obviously, our bench is okay. Could be greater. I think that's going to do it for this quick video. If you liked any of the other teams early on in the video, please tell me. And once the OSFM rosters are up, I will start one with them if they have a majority vote, which obviously it's not going to be that many votes because this is a small channel. Alright, but if no votes get casted, I'm just going to continue with this. And if you join me, this was a short stream. 